Lines. In today's video, we've got the brand new Dior Forever Couture Luminizer. This is freaking phenomenal. And did I find a dupe for it? You gotta stay tuned to find out. We're going to try this on, test it out, and then give this product a score. All right, guys, let's get into this video. So this actually looks like identical packaging to the bronzer that we just reviewed on the channel. Oh wow, that is stunning. All right, so I've already got my makeup ready to go. Everything's ready. I just need to apply highlighter to finish off this amazing, super cute look. So if you guys are interested in anything I used, it's linked in the description down below. So today I'm gonna use this Morphe brush right here to test out this product. This is just a Morphe fluffy, big fluffy guy right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and swatch this on the back of my hand, just like I do with all of my products for you guys. This so far is a very hard formula. It almost feels like a baked formula. And I'm just gonna go and swatch that. Oh, wow. Hopefully that camera is picking this up for you guys. This is so pretty. That's a gorgeous shade. Again, this is shade one in the line, but that is stunning. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush right here. This is just a stiff, fluffy, dense brush that I love to use for highlights, especially for the cheekbones and the tip of the nose. So I'm just gonna go in, pick up a little bit of this. Okay, so there is kickback in the pan when you go in with a brush. Good to know. We're just gonna tap off a little bit of that because this is intense. All right, I'm just going to start by applying this to my cheekbones. Oh, that's beautiful. That is one of the prettiest highlighters that I've seen in a while. That is a super amazing glow to it. It's not picking up my foundation. I do have on a cream blush. It's just radiant. Like that is just a radiant glow. Can you guys see the before and after? That is stunning. Am I not right? Like, come on, like that is gorgeous. All right, so I'm just gonna go in, apply whatever's left on my brush just to my eyebrow area right there. Just for a little bit of a highlight. I'm just gonna tap a little bit into that product, tap that off. I'm just gonna go down the center of my nose, just a little bit, a little on the tip. Loving that. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little detailed brush by Makeup by Mario, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that highlighter, just because I think this is a, such a gorgeous color. And I'm just going to apply that right here on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just going to drag that color down to my lower lash line, just to give this look a little bit of pop. Love that. All right, let's go in and do the other side. I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks on that high point. This highlighter just applies so beautifully. Dior has always made such amazing highlighters and this one is no different. This is just such a stunning, gorgeous formula. I super love it. I honestly wasn't sure what to expect after the bronzer video, but this formula, the formula, it's just like none other. Like This is amazing. I look so glowy and dewy and just like amazing. I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is a 66 brush from Scott Barnes. We're going to tap into this product. Picking that up, I'm just going to put a little right here because I want to be glowy. This is so beautiful. Let's get some clavicle glow in there. Am I not right? Like this formula is just amazing. Compared to other products I love, like the Scott Barnes highlighter, like I rave about that one. And then we have the Champagne Pop by Becca. Like that one is just a classic ride or die highlighter. One of my faves. But this, the formula, freaking amazing. All right guys, time to score this product. Starting with application. All right, so this went on buttery, smooth, silky. It's just phenomenal. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. 
Up next, pigment. This one, it's just phenomenal. Some highlighters I use and you can't see it on camera, but this one you can and it is just phenomenal. So right there, I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10. And finally, value. The Dior highlighter is $58 Canadian and the dupe that I found for it is the Becca Champagne Pop and that one is half the price at $29 Canadian. I'm gonna swatch them both for you. So this one is the Dior that I will swatch right here. That is so beautiful, I love that. And then this one is the Becca Champagne Pop. It is basically identically the same shade. Love that. All right guys, if you're looking for a dupe for this for half the cost, it is the Becca. I'm gonna give this one Honestly, I was gonna give it a higher score because I love it so much, but you're paying for the Dior name, so I'm gonna give this a six out of 10, giving us a final score of 26 out of 30. Now, should you buy it, wishlist it, or avoid it, I'm totally going to recommend if you love the Dior brand as much as I do, like this is just stunning, I would buy this one. But if you're looking for a good dupe, definitely it's the Becca. All right guys, if you love videos like this one, Hit a girl up, let her know in the comments down below, and remember to hit that like button. I appreciate it. All right guys, until next time, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye guys.